in society, how am I going to face people, and, you know, the, of course, how, how am I going to get to college? Because, you know. He was falsely accused of being the Boston Marathon bomber. His picture, as you can see here, plastered on the cover of one of the most well-known newspapers in the country. Years after the bombings, he's finally telling his story, and he's telling it to our Ken McLeod. Salah Baroum likes the front row of his freshman business class. If you want to be successful, then you got to put in the work. You got to be stay motivated. You got to stay humble. But for this immigrant from Morocco, the incident that spawned that strategy was a nightmare for which he has now found a positive frame. It was a great lesson to learn from, and it was it was something that motivated me to do better in life. As social media sleuths comb through images from Boylston Street in the days after the marathon bombing, this picture of Salah and a friend somehow made the jump to the front page of the New York Post with the headline, Bag Men. Probably the hardest experience I ever went through. Indeed, for a day or so until the FBI went public with the Zarnayev brothers, Salah was vilified as a terrorist killer. As part of an assignment, he recently told this class how the ordeal nearly broke him. All of a sudden, in the middle of the class, it dawned on us, this is the guy. It was Professor Michael Greenwood who convinced Salah he must share his astonishing story with more ears. And amidst all this adversity, he chose peace instead of anger. On Thursday, Salah will confront another one of his big fears, public speaking, when he tells his story to an auditorium full of fellow students here at Fitchburg State. One thing he can't talk about is the pile of money he made when the Post paid off his defamation lawsuit out of court. What he will talk about is how this horrid headline eventually made him better. If he wasn't for that, I wouldn't be, you know, doing what I'm doing today. And the next time he makes the cover, he hopes it's as a business entrepreneur. This is not going to stop me. In Fitchburg, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Still to come at six here.